Good evening, everyone. <clears throat> Go through a uh, few preliminary announcements tonight. Um, my name is Michael Reese. I'm the city manager of Maplewood. And welcome this evening. We are doing a hybrid where we have a number of folks here at City Hall physically. And of course, we have everyone who's joined us via Zoom. Um, uh, tonight is uh, to talk about public safety. Public safety is paramount in the city of Maplewood and a critical function of city government. Uh, tonight, we're gonna to be talking about uh, the fire department and the fire chief specifically. This is an opportunity for community input, uh, opportunity for the public to communicate your priorities for the fire chief position as we begin our search for a new fire chief. My job tonight is to listen. Um, we're going to uh, call on speakers, people who raise their hand on Zoom and people here at City Hall will alternate. So we'll start with someone on Zoom who raises their hand and then we'll go here to City Hall for comments and we'll go back and forth uh, throughout the evening. Um, we'd like you to cap your comments at three minutes, please. So all can participate tonight. Um, just to give you an idea on the rough timeline, uh, we are um, casting a net now to hire a search consultant. That search consultant is going to help us um, uh, with finding a pool of candidates for the fire chief. Uh, we anticipate doing a job posting in January, conducting interviews um, in the months of March and perhaps April, and then a hiring shortly thereafter in 2022. Um, so that's our rough timeline. Um, and I'll repeat this at the end of the session, but there are opportunities. Uh, uh, you can continue to um, provide us your feedback. Tomorrow on the homepage of the website under news and announcements, we'll have a survey that you can share with us about what we did well and what we can improve on. You can continue to provide your comments to us about the fire chief. And um, we'll also have this meeting uh, recording on the city's YouTube, okay? So with that, we're gonna get started. And uh, I'm excited for this opportunity to listen. And uh, we'll open it up for people to raise their hand. And again, we'll alternate, so thank you. Okay, while that's uh, people are mulling on that, we're gonna start in City Hall. And there's a number of folks here at City Hall. So yes, Mr. Langston. Sir. Uh, uh, they should be able to hear you. So you, you could, here. yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Just speak up and we'll. I'll do my best. Okay. okay. So, uh, Mr. Reese, my name is Mark Langston. I was mayor of Maplewood from 2001 to 2009. I've lived in Maplewood with my family for more than 20 years. I'm here today to offer my unwavering support in promoting Acting Chief Pete Marsak to the Chief of the Maplewood City Fire Department. As a former mayor, I offer a unique perspective, not only one as a citizen, but also as someone with knowledge and understanding of the fire department's operation. I personally witnessed and uh, clearly remember the process of hiring former uh, Fire Chief Terry Merrill, I truly understand the struggle and the genuine concern to appoint the right person to the job for fire chief. And we need to get it right. This decision will affect our community probably for the next uh, 10 to 15 years, I would say. Uniquely, I also offer a perspective of someone who is part of the brotherhood and sisterhood who experienced firsthand the most difficult challenges in the history of a fire department. Of course, when we lost Ryan Hubbard. And out of this tragedy, I witnessed our firefighters, our brothers and sisters grow together into the most uh, compassionate and dedicated servants that rival no others in our metro area. It wasn't a seat I don't think that anyone wished to have, but our Maplewood Fire Department banded together, rose to the occasion, and we, we got the best out of it. They never lost sight of the sacrifices that their peers had made. And someone said that leadership is a two-way street, loyalty up, loyalty down. 
the spec for one supervision, supervisors, care for one's crew, and Pete Marsak, I think, exemplifies the statement. I've known Pete Marsak for better than 20 years. I know firsthand that he believes and supports city leadership in a constant quest to move things forward while he offers support and motivation to his crew who uh, follow him each and every day. He's garnered the respect of those that he serves and those uh, who he leads. Only a few more points here, Mr. Reese. Anyone who has met Pete Marsak realizes that he is a servant leader. He has a servant leader heart. He accepts all. He thrives, he thrives around people and children. He understands our community better than most people do. He's been in our homes and our neighborhoods and our schools. He's helped us with our businesses. He's always present. People look to him and for him. And he's really the, the glue, the fire and mortar of our fire department. There's no room for error in leading a fire department that requires experience, a rapport that literally helps save lives every day. Pete Marsat has decades of experience in the Maplewood Fire Department. And if it, this transition will allow us to not miss a beat. And if we bring someone from outside, I guess there'll be a learning curve that you know might slow us down a little bit. But two more points. What most excites me with Pete Marsak is that what he can do to help grow this department. Pete Marsak is proud of the city of Maplewood and he is proud of all of the firefighters in the fire department. He embraces challenges, opportunities. He is not afraid to try new things. I firmly believe that promoting Pete Marsak will also create more opportunities behind him and for those that grow and thrive with him in his, in his, uh, in his control there. Every day, Pete Marsak carries our community in his heart. And one final point, our fire department is one of the best, if not the best in St. Louis County. And that's because of the people that run our fire department. They make it so special. People like Pete Marsak make it what it is and deserves the chance to take us to the next, next level. And frankly, I think Maplewood deserves Pete Marsak. Thank you, Mr. Lewis. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, <clears throat> opening up here to uh, those participating on Zoom. If you'd like to make comments regarding the fire chief <clears throat> position, we'd like to hear from you. Please raise your hand. Okay. Mr. Dietrich. Hello, uh, thank you for having me. Uh, I'm Mike Dietrich, a uh, resident of six years in Maplewood, but I also serve the community by working with the school district. Uh, I just heard former Mayor Langston, uh, and I was not aware that uh, Acting Chief Marsak was uh, a candidate for this or what's going on, but I did want to just say as a resident of Maplewood, I'm confident. Uh, there's applicants out there that understand, you know, regulation standards, professional expectations of firefighters. Uh, but I also think we can agree that there's a difference between a professional firefighter and a professional firefighter of people work. Uh, as a resident, but also someone who serves the community in a professional capacity, I want to make sure that someone comes in that understands the outreach that I've seen uh, as someone who works for the school district. Um, I personally know that if I have questions about the Ryan Hummert 5K, um, I can pick up the phone and paramedic Kramer is gonna be on getting me that info. Uh, if we have a student fire over the weekend, I know that Captain Wilcox or uh, Acting Chief Marsak is gonna be on the phone with me, letting me know how I can assist or how they're assisting. Um, and most recently, I needed the professional fire, fire, yeah, firefighters of Maplewood to build a cardboard boat for our middle school regatta races. And I think it says a lot about the community and what Maplewood has to offer, because not only did the firefighters show up, but uh, public works, the police officers, and not just the ones that were on duty, but also ones that were off duty. Um, and I just think that says a lot about the commitment that it takes to work in a district um, like this, so or in a community like this. So uh, this is a commitment we need from a new fire chief. And since tonight's occasion is specifically for Maplewood Fire Department, I would be remiss if I didn't say Maplewood Fire Department did win the cardboard board. Um, so congratulations to them. But I know this is a hard decision um, and one that will save lives. 
but I also want to make sure that we understand that the community uh, needs to be around our community outreach as well. So thank you for your time. Thank you, Mr. Dietrich. Okay. We'll go next. City Hall, is anyone else wanting to speak? Okay. And Miss Julie, I'm sorry, I, miss, I forget your last name. Lee. Lee. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Miss Julia Lee. Yeah. Good evening. Uh, my name is Firefighter Lee, and I will be speaking on behalf of the Maple Fire Department. Over the past 15 plus years, the Maple Fire Department has made great strides in being one of the top tier departments in the area and also in the state. From being a department that once followed the lead of those in the surrounding departments, to being the one that is now being followed is a huge accomplishment. This has been made possible by firing the best in the field, technical re rescue training, and working closely with our chiefs that have the same goals and missions that we as firefighters have. The Maple Fire Department is also one of the first departments in the area to form a community outreach program that has helped multiple residents and has given funds to many organizations and employers, such as the Empire Schools, Area Food Pantries, and countless others. We as a department have formed an amazing bond for the community. To think so in the future. The main reason for us being here tonight is that we have concerns about going to the outside in search of the fire chief. The name of the fire department and their 100 plus youth has always promoted from the bench. This has given us the opportunity to have a leader that has been brought up in the service with the same ideals that have gotten us to this point today. These chiefs listen to the ideas and concerns of their members because they live with them and know their own personal level. Our major concern is that we hire someone that doesn't believe in the same mission of the department. We would hate to see the hard work that we have put into the community go to the wayside because someone has a different view of what we are supposed to do. Also, to be a chief with fire ground authority in St. Louis County, you have to have the St. Louis County Fire Academy. Without the fire ground authority, the chief would only operate in an administrative capacity, essentially taking away from the boots on the ground. That being said, we have a challenge chief, Pete Marsak, with our ranks that has been officially doing the job as acting chief since last July. Acting Chief Marsak has worked his way up through the ranks and was promoted to captain, now Tony Chief, in 2010. He has served in the role as acting chief when retired Chief Terry was unavailable and was being groomed for nearly two years when Chief Merrill saw the great potential that acting chief Marsak demonstrated throughout his years of service. Acting Chief Marsan also served as response chief when Chief Merrill was out for three months due to neck surgery. Acting Chief Marsan has been fiscally responsible and actively supports diversity within the department. He also understands the community expects a more personal service from the department outside of the surrounding emergency business. He knows the community and will continue to build upon the superior services provided by the Maple Fire Department. Acting Chief Marsak lived in Maplewood at one time when he first got hired and still lives very close and often responds to incidents from his home when it won't. Acting Chief Marsak is also fully aware of the department's strengths and weaknesses, and there wouldn't be a delay in addressing them. Acting Chief Marsak has always put his time in and off duty as well for the community. Acting Chief Marsak could be seen at all community outreach events, and since his appointment of Acting Chief, he has been a prominent fixture at any and all events. Just ask your community, they love him. The great thing about the fire service is that when it comes to firefighters, they will more times than not tell you exactly what they want and need. We have seen too many times what happens when an outside chief comes in and tries to change things around. It never ends well. You're either on the search for another chief in a couple of years or you have a mass exodus of employees. We don't want to see that happen to us. City Manager Reese, we hope that this will give you some insight in the way that our firefighters think about acting chief Marsak. I'm sure that you will hear the comments tonight or already have on how they feel about acting chief Marsak. I'm sure you've seen over the last couple months what he has done and how soon the department is running. I hope that you consider everything that you have heard tonight and make the best possible decision for our fire department and the community. Thank you for your time to hear our concerns tonight and allowing us to show you what we have right here in our department. Thank you, Ms. Lee. Appreciate it. Okay, we'll now go to Zoom and 
hear from someone uh, that's tuning in over Zoom, please raise your hand. Okay. We have someone joining us. Is it Mr. Volts? Do I have that correctly? That is correct. David Volts. Yes, sir. We can hear you. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, first of all, I want to tell you, I'm the uh, fire chief of Metro North Fire Protection District. I've been a, law, a lifelong resident of Maplewood. My parents still live in Maplewood. My mother and father-in-law lived in Maplewood until they passed. Uh, I own a couple houses in Maplewood. And I understand the importance of having uh, a homegrown person that is uh, going to be the fire chief that can deal with the politics, can deal with the uh, the residents, you know, get to um, be him on the, the first name basis of it, how important it is, how important it is to promote from within to keep the morale of the ranks up to uh, to have the history of 20 years like Mr. Marsek has of knowing what's happened in the past, how to uh, not do the bad things again, but how to do the good things over and over again. So um, I agree with Mark Langston on most all his comments that he made. And, um, and I know that if you do hire a chief from outside the department, the struggles that he'll have with, with politics, with uh, the neighborhood, and most importantly is he cannot command a fire scene, which is very important if it goes just a single alarm, but if it goes to a two, three, four alarm fire, I believe it's very important for that that municipal chief or that district chief to be in command of that fire, to know what's going on and to know that his firefighters are safe. So, you know, that's pretty much what I, the way that I feel and believe and uh and I hope that you'll uh, take special consideration when you promote, and hopefully you promote Acting Chief Marsak to the Fire Chief. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Volts. Thank you. Okay. Do we have anyone else here at City Hall that would like to speak? Yes, sir. And can you state your full name, Charlie? My name is Charlie Ronda. I'm the former fire chief of Maplewood. I served, I've had the pleasure of serving the community for over 32 years. Um, this area is Chief Bowles in North Central up here. It's difficult to, to relate how we operate. It's a mutual aid oriented community throughout St. Louis County. It's very threatening. And one of the most important things that you're going to have to decide when you're full of candidates. I don't think you're going to be able to decide that by brother names in their interview. I think homegrown talent is uh, a very desirable uh, thing to have for this, this position. The men and ladies in the Midway Park are very talented, they're very gifted, and they have been taught and led to relate in the community. The city of Midway is one of the destinations in the state of Wisconsin. It wasn't always like that. Back in the 70s, we struggled with that. But at least the park had a leadership in that. And over the years, it's evolved to a destination city. And I believe that has to do with the services they provide. Whether it's the fire department, the police department, public works, and then having city managers and citizens in contact. But the chief's position, as Mr. Bowles mentioned, when these departments come from the outside, they need to understand who's in charge of that incident. And you're not going to be done on a piece of paper and write You're going to need to take a hard look at the surrounding departments, not if they respect the Marsac. And I guarantee they do. And that he's a natural leader. He was responsible for uh, developing the paramedic program in the city of Hickman. He was our first paramedic heart attack in 2000 or so. He developed that program, he merged it, and he attracted some very, very solid individuals. Two of them are sitting right here. And I hope the city of Maplewood, I know that you're going to get a large pool of candidates. This is a very desirable profession. 
paramount position. I hope you take into consideration of the homegrown talent in the territory. And thank you for the opportunity to speak. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Okay. Okay. Going back to Zoom here. Please raise your hand if you'd like to provide comment. Okay. Is there anyone else here at City Hall would like to speak? Okay, back to Zoom. We have a number of folks, probably 10 or so that are online here. Appreciate you participating. If you'd like to speak, please raise your hand. Okay. We'll give that and let that settle just for a moment. I want to repeat a couple things. Um, again, tomorrow on the homepage of the website, under news and announcements, there'll be a survey for this session. There'll be a link to provide additional feedback if you'd like. And we'll have the meeting recorded, recording posted on the city's YouTube page. Um, Certainly tonight is an opportunity for me to get feedback. Obviously we received feedback tonight um, about our acting chief and about the fire chief situation. Uh, all this will be taken into consideration as we conduct our search. And I'm gonna ask here one more time and give it just a bit. Would anybody else here online like to raise their hand? We'll give it just a few seconds. If not, we'll be concluding early tonight. I will say for those who are participating, both here at City Hall and online, <clears throat> once we select the fire chief, we will have a process for the police chief as well. We will likely do multiple community uh, opportunities for the police chief where we have a session like this um, and uh, we'll probably do one uh, or two and um, depending on COVID and the situation you know we may just have exclusively one here at City Hall and then we may do one separately on Zoom but we'll have multiple opportunities for the police chief uh, next spring just so everyone uh, understands that and uh, can kind of put that in their mind in terms of the calendar. <clears throat> okay. Mr. Volz, your hand is up again. Did you want to speak again? <laughs> yes, I did. Uh, when you mentioned about the police chief that you're going to be looking at, uh, the same thing that you can go back years ago when uh, police chief Jim White was here, he was a neighborhood resident that become the chief and he had that security the confidence the the trust and and the respect of the residents that has known chief white for several years and i think this will probably be the same thing if uh acting chief marsak would make chief he would have that huge advantage right off the get-go with being you know around and being a close resident and all that Okay. And that's, that's all I have. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Volz. Appreciate it. Okay. Last call for hands up to speak. Okay. We are going to conclude tonight's meeting. Uh, it's just about 730. So we're ending about a half hour early. Again, I want to thank everyone for participating, both here at City Hall and for those who have uh, 
uh, commented on Zoom and who are participating and listening. Thank you. I look forward to providing you an update on this matter and seeing you again, seeing you all again here soon. Have a good night.